Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I have to share with you these Castle Art pastel tin pencils. Um, I just received these today. I just got home from work and I was so excited that they finally came. I had ordered them so long ago. Well, not really so long ago, but for me, for Amazon, I think it took me about, it took about five days to get these. Um, I actually originally ordered them in the tin because I really like the tin art on and I was like oh I'll, I'm gonna keep them in the tin and um, you know I don't need a case whatever but it my shipment was taking so long to come and I just kind of thought about it um, and I was like well maybe I should just get this um, set with the case and it comes with um, it's supposed to come with three pads of different kind of paper um, so I thought for the 10 extra dollars, I thought it was worth it. Um, and I don't have to spend money on a case. Um, so I already took off all the packaging and everything. Cause I, to be honest with you, I, this is the second time I'm filming this and just the plastic, all the plastic noise and everything was like too much. So I just decided to do it over again. So we're going to see what comes inside this. 50 premium quality pastel tint pencil set from Castle Arts. Now, it came covered in a plastic, just, it just came covered in like cellophane plastic, no box or anything except for the box, um, the shipping box, the Amazon shipping box. Um, so this sleeve uh, just says the name of the product, has a picture on the front, and then on the back it has, it shows you all the colors that are in the 48 set. And it tells you what's gonna be included. This says, this deluxe set contains 48 premium pencil, pastel tint pencils, sketch pads, tester swatch sheet, tutorial booklet, and Snow Queen drawing guide. Um, and then it just goes on to um, talk all fancy about how great the pencils are. So we'll see. Um, I'm not, I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I'm not the biggest Castle Art pencil fan. Um, I do have, uh, this set of Castle Art 72 set that I bought, I'm not sure, maybe either on a Black Friday sale or, um, maybe like on Amazon Prime Day or something for $19.99. So I thought this was kind of expensive for 48 pencils. It was, um, if you just buy the tin, it's $34.99 and for this, um, special collection set, it was $10 extra. So... I guess it's worth it if you for the extra ten dollars if you're getting the case because you gotta think how much is the case gonna cost you and then um, it comes with this pastel tint taking your art to the next level. Um, it's kind of like a guide. It gives you a lot of different tips. It says taking care of your pencil, sharpening your pencil, pastel tint pencils at a glance, holding your pencil, surf surfaces. So it's kind of um, pretty good. I don't think any of the other Castle Arts um, come with something like this. I know they come with stuff like to draw, like on, they teach you how to draw um, some things maybe, or, um, you know, like it tells you like more products that they sell. So it looks like color, a little bit pastel tint range of color. It says tint, shade, tone. Tint um, just means when you're add, adding white to, um, you know, like a primary color, like red, blue, green, you know, primary, secondary. Naturary colors. Shade just means um, you're adding black to a color. And tone just means you're adding gray. Um, basic, that's kind of like basic um, color theory stuff. So that's their guide that comes with. And then I took the plastic off of these two because 
I don't want to be struggling to show you guys. Um, black paper comes with now. I was kind of like, this was another reason why I didn't really want to get this collection because I'm like, I don't really have use for like sketch paper because I don't sketch anything. But I was thinking after the fact, I was like, oh, maybe I can print PDFs on these. I bet like, I know it's not like the standard size of that you would, I think it, what is it, A5? But um, I think I want to see if um, how it, uh, PDFs prints out on these. So maybe I might be useful for me after all. Um, maybe when I, later on in the video, I'll have that to show you. I'll print some PDFs out on this paper. This black paper, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It would be good. I bet these colors would probably come out nice on black paper, but I did see a video from um, Jennifer Stay, where she was, um, you know, from Coloring Bliss. She was color, I don't know if she was coloring a PDF or she was doing a drawing or something on black paper and it came out really pretty. So I'm gonna see if I can print a PDF on the black paper, see how it works out. But we'll, we'll, think, we'll do that later on. Um, it comes with this really nice um, swatch chart with all the color names. So um, when I'll be doing a speed swatch for you guys after this, um, we'll do it on here. Nice and neat. No need for me to write them out in my sloppy handwriting. Um, what is this? Color and product guide. Taking your art to the next level. Um, oh, this is all, this is like what usually comes, I'm familiar with coming in their, um, their stuff. Um, it's all the different products they carry in the colors. This is the pastel tints they added to there. I don't know, did I mention that they also come, they also have a metallic set too, a 48 metallic set, but I wasn't um, too interested in getting that because 48 metallics, I don't really use metallics and I have so many metallics already from all so many other sets that it wasn't really on my radar that I wouldn't be interested in. It says Castle Club, join the Castle Club today. Um, I think you could join their Castle Club and um, get discounts or special things or something like that. Um, castle Art Create a Pastel Tint. This looks like more product stuff. Oh, and I guess this, I don't know why they give this to you again. It's already in the, the other, um, the other little booklet. So I don't know, that seems a little extra, but We'll do our swatches next and see what the colors look like and um, we'll see if we like them. Okay, we're in nice and close so we can look at the swatch sheet and see the color names as I'm swatching them. And just right before we get into the swatching, I just wanted to give you a quick preview of what the pencil actually looks like up close. Um, it gives you the color name down here with the band and then it has the number. This one happens to be number 11 PT, they put PT for pastel tint. And on the opposite side, it says Castle Arts, pastel tint. Um, this is different than how their regular pencils look. Um, I like it a lot. I not really, um, I think it looks a lot prettier. Looks a little bit more, looks a little bit more high, higher end looking. It looks a lot more like, um, kind of like how pencils are trending. They, a lot of the pencils kind of look like this. Um, so just wanted to get that out of the way before we start swatching in case I forget afterwards. Um, so let's get started. All right, and we're back. As you can see, um, I did end up completing the swatches off camera. Um, I ended up having a couple of mishaps while I was trying to film the swatches in the first place. Um, I made a mistake and I started swatching across instead of vertically. I didn't realize um, that's how they had it. Usually when you swatch, well, at least when I do swatches, I, I go across. But they have theirs, um, the numbers going one, two, three, you know, vertically. So 
I had to um, erase the few that I had started. And they did erase, um, they did erase really pretty good, but they're light color, so I was lucky. And um, what else? Um, I really, the colors are really, really pretty. I really like the colors. I like this one. This is kind of almost like a neon color, like a neon green. That's cool. Um, I did have a couple of little bit scratchiness. Some of them seemed a little scratchier than others. I think like the lighter colors seemed a little bit scratchier, but not too bad. And I did have some, um, like a lot of, not a, too much, but like kind of a little bit dustiness. Um, I don't know if that's what you call it when the, when the, the wax of the pencil or the pigment of the pencil comes off. It was like coming off in like little like shards almost like big chunks were coming out on some of them but that might be because i um i might have sharpened the pencils a little too much um i think like this kind of pencil um a duller not a duller but like a shorter tip might work better but um I think maybe I got carried away sharpening these pencils. Well, like they might be a little too pointy, so that might have been uh, part of the issue um, with the breakage a little bit. Um, I did get a chance to test out my um, how I wanted to see if I could get PDFs printed on the, the sketch pads that they they provided. I'm pr actually pretty excited about. Um, well, this, this, this paper is, this was the white cartridge paper. This is just, um, basically copy paper. So that's came out. I think, um, I don't think I might probably not actually do PDFs on this paper. This actually might be good for me to like test out like pens or pencils, like the colors on, on, or do some color combination testing out on there. So I think that's good for that one. And then this one is the Bristol board paper sketch pad. These are all Hannah Carlson um, PDFs that I got from Etsy, by the way. Um, if I remember, I'll leave the link in the description. This one might work out good for PDFs. I think I might use it for PDFs. This one, I don't know if what happened here that it got a little, like maybe the ink might have a little runny but that might be just my printer and this one the one that i'm most excited for how it came out um i didn't think it was gonna work that you would be able to see the lines of the ink but um it came out really nice i was really surprised um you know that it came out that you could see it so i'm definitely gonna just try and experiment coloring on this black paper. Okay, so I'm going to pick out an image um, from this Lulu Mayo book and do some little testing out on actual coloring. Um, you know, not, nothing too fancy. Just some, um, maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll do this little ballerina. She might be, she'd be pretty with um, in pastel colors. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, so I've moved you in nice and close so you can see what I'm coloring. I am going to speed this up. So there's going to be a little speed coloring. So um, we'll see what colors to choose. I'm thinking um, in these purple ranges, purples, I thought those would be pretty. Um, and then I thought these would be good skin tone colors. So maybe we'll choose some of those for her skin. Um, I don't know yet for the wings. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I don't really like the color. I don't usually um, pre-plan colors. I kind of just like to go with the flow. So um, we'll see what happens. We'll see how it comes out at the end. And I'll come back and give my final thoughts on, um, on everything what we discussed in the video so far. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm.
And we're done um, with our little ballerina. She's kind of like me. She must be an elf. She has pointy ears. Um, let me see if you can so you can see the whole thing. I didn't. I just colored the one little ballerina just to, um, to get a feel for um, the colors and how they'll how they work out. Um, I thought they were they were pretty nice. Um, to color with. Um, they're a little bit harder. It's a little bit harder of a pencil than I usually like to work with, but that's just me. I like, um, you know, I'm a Prismas color um, enthusiast, I guess you'd call me. Um, uh, but the colors are really pretty. Pastels are nice. Um, I don't know if I would use these all of the time. Um, I might use them like if I need a color here and there. Um, now let's talk about the price. $34.99 for the tin and um, $44.99 for the whole um, collection. Um, do I think that's too much money? Like I think I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I thought it was kind of expensive. Now, if you're thinking of getting these, I would personally wait, because Black Friday is coming up really, really soon. So. I would wait till Black Friday and see maybe if they do a Black Friday sale because usually Black Friday Castle on Amazon, Castle Arts, Arteza, Ohuhu, all those brands, they always do um, some sort of Black Friday sale. And um, I thought it was kind of strange that I didn't see it. They're not really advertising these new sets from what I can tell. Um, I even checked their actual Castle Arts website and I didn't see these sets there so I'm assuming maybe they must be doing some sort of like a soft um, launch on these um, I guess maybe testing to see how um, they do before they do like an official hard launch most likely for the holiday season um, that's just my um, opinion and just spec pure speculation on my part so we'll see what happens um, if they do go on sale um, so my advice is wait for um, Black Friday and see if they go on sale. Um, so that'll be about it. I am happy I got them. Not happy about the price, but um, I will make use out of the sketch pads. Um, I'm excited about um, working on this black paper. Um, I'll try, I'll see if I can color in this image and when I do my um, end of the month um, completed pages, um, maybe we'll see how it came out. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Um, leave me any, if you have any comments, questions, or anything about what we discussed here in this video, or if you have any, if I said anything incorrect, um, you know, with my description of this product, um, please feel free to leave me a message and I hope everyone has a really great day 
and I'll see you next time. Thank you.